Monday in the sixth week of Easter. Today, in our first reading, we see the new phase of St. Paul's evangelization. After he had been rejected and challenged for his credentials by his opponents, St. Paul went to Philippi to evangelize. And on a Sabbath day, he met a wealthy businesswoman called Lydia. So when St. Paul preached to her house, Lydia accepted the faith and wanted to give the missionaries whatever support she could give. And hence, she invited St. Paul and his companions to come and stay as they preached the word of God in Philippi. In this act, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we see love in action. We see how God blesses us through one another. We see a community of interdependence. We see a community of mutual care. In our lives, we have been blessed in various ways, to the extent that if you were to sit down today and count your blessings, you would spend the whole day in gratitude, just thanking God for his blessings. This woman called Lydia, he had been graced in her life, for we have heard that she was a wealthy woman. And among her blessings, she counts the preaching of St. Paul to her household as a blessing from God. She names the gift of faith as one of her blessings in her life. Today, as this new day begins, let us start by counting our blessings from the Lord. Name your blessings. When you are naming your blessings, do not start by thinking about big things, but start with even small things, things that we often take for granted. Count them as your blessings. There is a story that has been circulating on social media a few days ago. It is a story of an Italian man aged 93 who recovered from coronavirus. Just before he was discharged from the hospital, he was told to pay 5,000 euros for the use of the ventilator which he just used for one day. The old man started crying. What the old man said to the doctors made all the doctors cry. For he said, I do not cry because of money. I can settle the debt. But I cry because I've been breathing God's air for 93 years and I never had to pay anything for it. But just for using a ventilator in your hospital for just one day, I have to pay 5,000 euros. I have realized now how much I owe God. I never thanked God for it before. These are profound words coming from a man who wants to give thanks to God for the things that he has taken for granted in his life. Brothers and sisters, here is another blessing which we have taken for granted for so many years. 
when you are counting your blessings today, do not start by thinking big, but start with the things which may appear to be small before us and yet essential to our lives. After counting your blessings today, turn to God in prayer and give thanks to God who has worked wonders in your life. This should not be the end. The end is to see love in action. The end is to see faith in action. We want more leaders of this age today. People who know that they have been blessed in their lives and they want to bless others through the gifts that they have received from the Lord. We have received much, brothers and sisters. We should give much back. And hence Jesus would say, You have received without charge, therefore give without charge. It does not end, brothers and sisters, with us just naming the blessings, but it ends with us blessing others through what we have received from the hands of God. May God bless you. May you receive his blessing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.